Hey you guys, it's Derek. I'm going to show you how to update your website and add a new bridal registry. So let's get to it. Okay, just go to your website. There we go. We got the depotgifts.com. And right down here at the bottom right, under the uh, section called credits, we've got a link. It says admin login. Alright, so we're going to click on that link. Obviously, I've already got my name and password saved in here. And I'm going to be sending you guys your user accounts here shortly. So, once you're viewing this, I'm sure you'll have them. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, now, you're going to see a few less um, features than I have here. Since I'm administrator and there's a few little things you don't have to worry about. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and scoot on down. On the left here we see tools on the left uh, side of our screen. Alright, now under tools there's a link that says WP table reloaded. Okay, if you click on that link and you can see this is list of tables and I've got a table here already and that is for the uh, the uh, Bridal registry that's already uh, put up, which is Jenna Perkins and Caleb Payton. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and preview this table. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. And you can also see that on the website. All right. So now we're going to uh, create a new one. But the way we're going to create it, we're going to copy this table in order to create a new one. All right, so we're gonna hit the the copy link here. Yes, yeah, so I want to copy the the uh, table. All right, now what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go ahead and hit edit. Now you can see that uh, the table name here, copy of Jenna Perkins, Caleb Payton. We're going to change the name here, and we're gonna go to another table. Which uh, what I did, I went ahead and just made an Excel spreadsheet out of uh, the Microsoft Word document that they sent me. It's opening up here. All right. So, Beth Dukes and Neil Newman. All right, so we're going to replace the name here. Ladies first. And it's very important that we put our date here because this is what's going to go as the title of this table. Alright, so the date there was this past weekend. I know people still want to buy them stuff. It's been that long since we got married. Alright, so um, item and price as you can see right here. These are the table headers. They're never going to change. Okay, so you're just going to go ahead and uh, be uh, putting in your information underneath of those. Okay. I'm going to zoom in here. It's not very advanced, but I'm just going to zoom in just so you can see. Um, the way that I kind of set it up here where you guys had a few different items under country French dinnerware. You got your three-piece place setting, dinner plates, salad plates. Those are all in the bowl. Those are all country French dinnerware. Okay, so I, so I made that bold. And the way we do that is we got to put some tags in here. These are HTML tags. I'm going to spare you a, a lesson in HTML and just show you. We've got this uh, this tag here, which is a B. Uh, and so you got your open tags and your closed tags, and that makes it bold. All right. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and enter this in just as a kind of kind of quickie thing here, and I'll go back in and do it real time here, here and after a while, and it will display correctly. Anyway, as you can see, we got Fiesta dishes. All right, for place setting. All right, and then underneath that, of course, there's little options here. And how much was that? Oh, they're all forty-eight dollars. I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and put forty-eight dollars here. I think it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. But you know, then there's uh, different options there.
and Scarlet. Alright. This option wasn't here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and check that box there. Go down to the bottom. And we've got some options here. We got this row selected, so I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that row. And okay, wait, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's cancel that. We're gonna update our changes first, because we've been working on this. So anytime that you're working, you wanna save it, just update changes. And whenever you're done, you can save and go back. Now let's go back and we're gonna delete this row, so I'm gonna check that box and we're gonna delete it. boom it's gone so now row six is a blank space and I just have that row there just um, just as a separator because you got some more items down here again I'm gonna be putting in these uh, these values here from uh, that spreadsheet and um, yeah that'll work like that and as you can see I got some blank rows there and those display on the page just to kind of you know keep things organized and divided so let's say I want to add another row because you know that there's going to be some of these registries that have more items than this. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm just going to add it here. All right, let me uh, check this box here, and we've got a selected row. We're going to insert another row now. Maybe we want to, you know, add three more. Pretty easy. We'll just go add. Oh, we added these three at the end of the the table. All right, so let's say I want to add it right underneath that. I'm a little bit rusty with this, if you can't tell. Uh, let's say I want to insert a row. We're just going to insert one row right there, right after that selected row. I try not to move too fast on your screen here. I don't want to hurt your eyes. So, uh, yeah, we just added a row there. All right, so for right now, we're just going to save this and leave. Okay. Now, so we have this table here, and we've saved it. Good stuff. All right, so now uh, that's the end of this lesson, and I'm going to uh, show you in the next lesson how you're going to put it up on the website.